So anyway, there's this tractor trailer behind me. I've been passing it going home from my studio for about 10 months now. And it's got these amazing hues of brown. Um, it's been incredible to see how the brown hues and the little tidbits of paint grow. And I say grow, they only grow because uh, what happens is the kids around here, they come and put up graffiti on the tractor trailer and then the people that own this lot, some sort of parking garage, they come and put up brown paint to cover the graffiti. At first I thought it didn't have enough color and then I kind of came around, came out one day and just looked at it. Um, when the sun's going down to the west, it hits it beautifully. But for this project, I'm, I'm trying consciously not to use uh, <clears throat> not to use too much sunlight for the photographs and that may sound weird but I don't want huge uh, contrast I, I really want them to look like paintings and in order to look like paintings it has to be really flat light uh, if there was this golden beam of Sun on it then I think that would be a problem I came and shot it about a month ago and uh, it didn't live up to my expectations. I was trying to shoot out of the back of this truck, my French truck, with my 4x5, my large format camera, and I couldn't get high enough. I Nothing was right. The lens wasn't right. So I think today uh, I got it right, and um, I know that there's one great shot, the one that drew me in with all the lights and the darks, the contrast, and then I'm hoping that there's another shot. Um, with these two circles and then everything that surrounds it, you know, all the different orange and brown hues.